Personally, I need microphones for sound testing, voiceovers, rapping and singing, and also streaming. Obviously, one microphone isn't going to do all that, but the Rosa Siren X is aimed at streamers, so it should be decent for voiceovers and possibly music. I'll get to that testing later. To start, I'll just show you what you get with it. Obviously, the mic itself, which is only about 13cm tall and 5cm wide, or 5 by 2 inches. It also comes with this attachment, which will connect it with the base. And there's rubber underneath there, so it shouldn't scratch your desk or slide around. Underneath the actual mic is a headphone jack and the USB connection, along with a metal thread for durability. So this is everything, including the 1.8 meter braided USB cable. The mic itself looks fairly stylish, all black, with volume and mute controls on the front. I guess they were trying to make the cable kind of hidden with this design, but I always get nervous about bending cables, so I would have liked more room here. As you can see, as it tilts forward, it bends it even more. As for the testing, I've been using the mic for the entire video, but removed the background noise. Now I'm going to show you some unedited clips, so you can get an idea of how it actually sounds. So this is a raw clip, no editing done at all. What I've noticed is that it doesn't pick up on much background noise, as you'll see toward the end. The sound is kind of tight, like it isn't picking up on the really deep or high tones. There's less echo too, which I'll show you now, but here's the background noise first. This is the Audio-Technica AT2020, my main microphone for the last 10 years now. Going strong. It picks up on a fair bit of background noise, so I need filters for it. But because that is a good range, I use it for my music and voiceovers. The echo doesn't seem too bad for those. Now back to the Siren X, and I think this makes a better streaming microphone for that reason. It's going to be a tighter sound, keeping it more focused on your voice, and reducing the need for extra filters. But for streaming, you will most likely be using a keyboard close to the mic. It's meant to have a built-in shock mount to reduce the sound. So this is a recording that shows just how much of the keyboard will be picked up. Using a Black Widow Chroma V2. And that's a tournament edition with yellow switches. So the microphone is set up in front of me, just to get the best volume. And I'm just pretending to play a game as I talk. It would be best to put it on an arm though. But I think it's usable on a stand too. This is me jumping with spacebar. Okay, now I'm stroke jumping. Now, it is unlikely that you'd have the microphone that close to a keyboard usually. This is a more normal distance, and I'm just pretending I've got it on an arm right now. Really, it's my arm. And the good thing about this is that you can get the microphone closer to your mouth and still keep it a distance away from the keyboard. So even though you'll still hear the keys in the background, at least your voice will be louder, so it won't be as bad. So yeah, it's a streamer's mic, but it's not perfect, and I don't think any mic is. I definitely recommend getting a separate arm. If you're just messing around, rapping, or singing, this doesn't have a bad sound. It's usable. And with some effects, you can probably hide that it's a streamer's mic. But to test if there's any kind of delay, I tried it along with the AT2020. With rapping, you have to be on time. And while I didn't put too much effort into getting it exact, you can see it's pretty much right on, maybe even a bit faster than the AT2020 setup that I've got. So I would say no delay, should be good for that. Okay, in conclusion, this is a great little microphone, and it's good that it doesn't take up much space, although with a better stand, it will. It has a good sound suited to streaming, and it doesn't go too badly with voiceovers or vocals either, and considering what you're getting, it's actually fairly well priced. But of course, if you want something more for music and vocals, I'd recommend spending the extra on the AT2020, because the Siren X doesn't really give you the range that you'd need. Hope that helps, special thanks to Rosa for sending it out for a review, and if you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave the usual links in the description. Subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.